welcome back guys to the next lecture of EndNote lecture series. In this lecture we are going to learn about um, formatting this bibliography style and um, seeing that sometimes the journals require to format the references as journal name abbreviated. For example, if you look at this document you will see that um, this journal name is abbreviated this is not this is not this is again abbreviated so we want to the journal names to appear as abbreviated what will we do for that if we look at the end note we'll see that this journal style has the journal names abbreviated already but end note is not doing that so we'll go to edit output styles edit checks and then we'll see journal names this style has abbreviation one but actually the abbreviation is not appearing so what will we do for that we'll go to endnote so endnote has a lot of um, already abbre make made abbreviations for the journal names so you just need to import them into endnote so we can use them later on so what will we need to do is we go to tools and then define term lists so what will we do is we need to define the journals term list and when um, we here you can see that there are certain terms which are already added but these journal names have directly abbreviation they don't have full names so we'll go to lists and we'll import a list so if we click on import list we can see different areas of um, uh, different disciplines where you can find different journals so for example we'll select the chemical journals click open it says 1354 terms inserted into the journals term list so now we have imported more than 1300 journals and their abbreviations so I'll just make it a bit bigger and then you can see if you go to terms now you can see that we have a lot of journal names and their abbreviations as well so now we have imported a lot of um, journals and their abbreviations into EndNote we'll just close this and then we'll see uh, how we have updated the database in Word or not so we'll just click on update citations and bibliography it didn't do anything so now you can see the first journal is abbreviated the third one is but journal of natural products is not journal of the american chemical society is not so what is wrong with that so this is because we have already inserted references without having the journal term lists in our endnote database so now we have to recheck these journal names if they are duplicated so we'll go to tools, open term list, journals term list, and then we'll check for the name of that journal, Journal of Natural Products. So if we scroll down, Journal of Natural Products, you can see that EndNote has abbreviation for this journal, but we have duplicated it because of inserting it initially. So we'll just delete this reference, this duplication from here, the empty one delete them so now journal of american chemical society that was also not abbreviated we'll see that if we have it here i can't see it here i think it's journal of the american chemical society yes no the, here here you go so you can see that this is also duplicated so we'll just delete the empty one click on it and delete term close now we come back to the word document update citations and bibliography and now you can see that this is also abbreviated journal of natural product is also abbreviated so that's how abbreviating journals work so it's better to have the mm, journal term lists in endnote prayer to making any document or inserting citations otherwise you will have to go back and delete some citations duplicates manually if you have done that already
So that was all about abbreviating the journals. Now we'll see some other options like when you open the end note, where it should look for the styles and where it should look for the library, which library it should open. So we, we can tell it that. We can go to edit, preferences, and here you can see folder locations. So you, you can tell it where is my styles folder located, where my styles are saved. So you can see two styles. Usually it is located in my documents folder, in EndNote subfolder. So you can change it if you want from here. And um, apart from that, you can see the libraries option where when EndNote starts, open the most recently used library. That's the common option. But if you want, you can change it, open the specified libraries, and then you can add op open libraries or you have added the library which is already open in EndNote or and if you want to remove it you can also remove it from here so now if EndNote will be closed and when it will be open it will open the following library which is selected here alright so now we click apply and click OK there is one more important thing which I needed I wanted to tell you that for example if you have to send your EndNote library to someone with the document and what you need to do is if we go to the folder where we have saved EndNote library you, what usually people do just select this EndNote library file and send it but that doesn't work because all the data associated to that file is in this folder so if you want to send your EndNote library make sure you select both of these files the file and its folder compress them to zip and then you send this zipped folder to anyone you want and because it contains both the library and its associated data and it will work with other person you are sending to otherwise if you just send one file and not the associated data it won't work so that was all about basics of EndNote of course there are more things which you can keep exploring and if you have any questions or any issues you can just write down in the comments down and I'll get back to you as soon as possible if you enjoyed the video just like and subscribe to the channel to keep yourself updated for more videos in future thank you for watching and bye bye